Welcome to the SolarEdge Learning Lab. This video will guide you through avoiding common storage installation and configuration errors. To begin, make sure you have the latest version of the firmware. It's freely downloadable at the StoreEdge firmware download site. Instructions are also available by clicking the application note. The StoreEdge on-site guide and checklist is also available with detailed wiring guides and a comprehensive checklist for on-site commissioning. Wiring for the auto transformer temperature sensors. The termination block is located above the AC connections inside the auto transformer. Wires land inside the DC disconnect under AT temp 1 and 2. Next, CT orientation and location. Note the CT rating and note the source. The source should be pointed towards the utility at the main service entrance. To enter in your CT rating, enter the menus with a long hold on enter. Password is 123, 123, 12. Use the down arrow to scroll down to communications and press enter. Down arrow again to scroll to RS451 config. Press enter. Select your meter and use the down arrow to select your CT rating. If you need to enter your CT rating, select and use the up and down arrows to enter in your value. Enter to move forward, escape to move back. Once your value is entered, long press on enter to apply. Next, setting battery function. Enter the menus via the four button interface. Use the down arrow to scroll down to power control, press enter. Down arrow again to select energy manager, press enter. Down arrow to select energy control, press enter. Set your function. Note that this menu is only available when accessing the menus via the four button interface. Lastly, get pictures of everything. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Oftentimes, having pictures can avoid an additional truck roll should additional diagnostics be needed by SolarEdge support. Thanks for joining us in the SolarEdge Learning Lab.